Hey guys, today I want to show you how to change the press home to unlock text that appears on the lock screen of your device very easily without the need of a jailbreak. As you can see, they have custom text. Now, recently, I posted a video of an application called Files Jailed, which is an application that allows you to get control of the operating system and pretty much change the strings and the fonts and anything within the OS. But if you're not an advanced user or feel comfortable at all with this, please stay away because you could corrupt the operating system, forcing you to restore and losing the data on your device. So I'm I'm going to show you how to change again the text of the lock screen here to any custom text that you would like to have on the bottom there. So let's go ahead and begin. Now we want to go to the files of application. If you haven't installed this yet, I'll have a direct link in the description down below for my uh, tutorial on how to install it. And uh, the first thing you want to do is once you launch the application, you want to go back all the way back until you go to this dash that you see here. So once we're there, we're going to go to system, library, scroll down. We're going to go then to Core Services, Springboard.app. And in this section, you're going to go ahead and choose the language. Now, for me, it's going to be English. So whatever language you have set up on your device, you choose that. And then we'll go ahead and click on Springboard.strings and click on the root for that particular partition there. And we're going to go all the way down until we find the press home to unlock or the press home to open. Let's go ahead and look for that. Okay, so here it is press home to open press home to unlock so we're going to go in here and where it says value right here is where you're going to go ahead and input the text of whatever it is that you want on the lock screen so i pre uh, copied uh, the idevice help logo there and then we're going to go to press home to unlock as well and change the values here as well so we're going to go ahead and do that and once we do this all we have to do is reboot our devices and click save first and then click done and now we're going to reboot, power off the device, and then we're going to power it back on. I already did that, as you saw at the beginning of the video. And then you're going to have the custom text right there on the bottom of the screen. I thought this was a really cool thing to share, so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. You can go ahead and change it to any emoji or custom icon or custom logo, maybe your business, your company, your car brand, favorite car brand, whatever, even uh, your name. You can change it to whatever you wish. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it fun and useful. It's been Night of Help, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.